you're welcome to the break talk channel don't forget to subscribe and like this video uh, today we are going to speak about body shaming and how it has affected a lot of women's potential to make it to the top as the major aim of the Red Talk channel is to empower women in all different aspects. Today we are bringing up the effects of body shaming to women. This has been a big cause, a big effect on social media. For starters, if you're on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, you agree with me that body shaming has become the, the routine of the day. A lot of people are doing that on both fatty women and tiny girls but a lot of people haven't uh, sat down to think about the effects the negative effects of what uh, it brings to these women that they try to put down so I'll read out my four major impacts of body shaming from social media in particular. Social media, first and foremost, has pressured a lot of women, a lot of women, to, to portray into what they think is beautiful, what they, um, what they think can fit in society. You find that... As so today my four major impacts of body shaming include health issues. A lot of people do not know that every time they call someone fat, every time they call someone huge, I'm not saying most people don't want being fat, but every time you call someone fat, you're deteriorating their confidence. So they end up looking for these pills, going into uh, for different dirty pills so that they can grow slim so that they can have a, my size so that they can be tiny like me or small like me whatever people call it but they don't know that at the end of the day this is going to impact on their body when they grow up a lot of the fats that they keep on cutting all the pills they keep on taking will impact them Secondly, it leads to eating disorders. Every time you call someone small, she's going to end up eating everything and abdom and abdomenally. They're going to eat everything. They find the chips, they'll eat them. They find the chocolate, they'll eat the chocolate. They find anything because she wants to grow fat. She wants to add on weight. Thirdly, it crushes self-esteem and confidence. I'm putting on a dress. This dress is not tight on me. I don't have hips. I don't have pounds. But since so and so told me, Nina, you don't look good on, the, on that dress because you don't have hips, you don't have bones. I won't put on this dress going for someone's party because I know I won't look like so and so who has hips, who has the butt to fit into that dress. So I'll end up missing someone's uh, party, um, a great event, a meeting, or I'll definitely abandon that dress because so and so told me it does not look good on me. I'm not saying me. So you're pulling down this person. You're stopping this person to push harder for whatever she wanted. Maybe from this party, that's where uh, her biggest opportunity would be, or from this meeting. But then she's going to attend this meeting with low self-esteem. She won't be herself. She won't be open. She won't be confident to speak about whatever she wants to talk about. And lastly, social anxiety. People do get depressed when they are called fat. People get depressed when they are called small. So whoever does that, please stop. Uh, you're stopping a lot of people to reach for their highest button. People have dreams. But all the time you tell them something that impacts their lives negatively, then you are putting down a lot of confidence. You're putting down our money's potential, yet we are fighting women inequalities. 
we need the women to be on top so i call each and every one on social media platforms on uh, different platforms to stop body shaming